this is a different view of Sorto Valley. The camera is actually positioned in the good yard, which is just back back around this area here, which you've seen me doing the, the uh, scenery for, putting the ballast in. Now you can see the actual yard itself and the throat which runs onto the station up then where all the rolling stock is stored. Now I've done a bit of plastering, so there's a little bit of muck and plaster and dirt around which I haven't cleaned up as of yet. But you can see the general layout of the, uh, the track here. You've got your main lines coming in around here. They go up around to the hill and they emerge up the back up here and they run right up into the hotter level. There's the two mainline tunnels at the back there. The scenery has to be done yet, but give it time. All these points or turnouts are electrically wired and, and remotely operated. There's a few little wires poking up here and there which have to be uh, connected. You have the two main lines through. They actually divide there. This line here in the front is a storage line for rail motors and local services. The left hand line, line here, that's the local service. There's going to be a big station placed in just down there. This centre line here is the through line for the freight. And those three passenger carriages are on the up main line station. There'll be an island platform there, and where those freight cars are, that's the down main line station area. The other lines across are all shunting and access lines for freight and passenger storage. As you can see, I'm gradually working down towards that area. I um, hope to get some more scenery done on the back there, and maybe a pass on the backdrop done as well. Um, also going to do a little episode on trees, and also making stone wall fencing. Something which I tried recently, it was quite successful. So I thought I'd share it with you. Down the other end, it's out of focus, right down the other end, you can't really see it, is the northern exit to the yard, and beyond that, it goes into the downward spiral loop to the lower levels. Actually beyond the back there, the backdrop angles across at 45 degrees, so the corner of the shed and everything down there you will not see. Anyway, that's what the layout is looking like. You, you see there's a bit more of it there than you have usually seen. And over the next few weeks, over Christmas, I'll be putting some more stuff down, some more scenery, and the camera will gradually move down as well, and you'll see more. I've actually had a few test trains running, and I've cleaned a lot of muck out of these points from these yards here, and I've actually running test trains through them just to make sure that the track is uh, level enough and working enough. I painted the backgrounds here brown so it's easier for the camera to pick up. Well, that's this little short video. Next one we'll probably have uh, a bit further along and I'll be doing rock walling on the back and maybe you might even do a small episode on uh, drywall fencing. That's how our stones. Oh, well, until then, see you next time.